What's happening internet? Sean here, Mahalo.com. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to reconnect your computer after it's been disconnected. So, just some real simple and easy tips for connecting all your components back into your computer because if you break it down, it's fairly simple. Now, first off, we'll just have to recognize what all the ports are. And one thing to realize is a lot of these connectors won't fit in other connectors. So, if it fits, you know, it could possibly work. But I'll show you what exactly does what. Now, Every computer is going to have a connection like this and a connection like this. And this is a connection for your mouse and a connection for your keyboard. Just again, the only two you can really connect, to, connect right next to each other would be green for mouse and purple for keyboard. So pretty self-explanatory there. Now over here we have our video. This would be the most popular. This is your VGA which is always going to be blue and it'll always be this exact type and you can only go in one way. And whenever you connect these, you want to make sure you put the thumb screws on and screw these guys in a bit, but don't over tighten them because you want to be able to remove that later. Right next to the VGA, we have DVI. Not every computer is going to have a DVI, but this one does and it's fairly simple because it has a, has a bunch of rows with a single slot next to it. And the DVI is the only thing it's going to be able to plug into that. Next to that is our USB. We have for USB. Now, the thing about USB that's really cool is it doesn't matter where you plug in what. If it's USB, it's USB. Although, if it's a data device and it's a USB 2.0 or 3.0, you want to make sure it goes into a 2.0 or 3.0 port. But keyboard, mouse, any peripheral you have, plug it into any USB. If it fits, it's good to go. But one thing you might want to stay away from, and that is plugging in your USB to your Ethernet because that just doesn't work. Now, for your Ethernet, Again, that'll be the only one that'll fit in there. Now, you might be able to fit a phone cord in there, but it won't work because it's this port is actually wider than your RJ11 for a phone. Then down here, we have our audio. Now, red is always going to be microphone, and green or blue will be the connections you'll want to plug in your speakers so that you can hear sound. And down here, we have our video card. So if you have these connections down here, and you also have these connections up here, you'll want to always use these ones down here. And this is the same as up here, although we have one extra port, and that is HDMI. Now, again, HDMI port right here is the only one you'll be able to fit in that port. So it's pretty much a no-brainer. I mean, go down here. If you, if you see these same guys down here, use these. These only fit in these exact ports. So unless you have two monitors, you're really, going to, you're really only going to have one cable that will fit in each of these. All right, so let's break down what we've done so far. Now, we've connected our video via any of these, any one of these for our video, unless you have two monitors. For our audio, we have our microphone and then also our speakers. And again, the default for speakers, if you can't hear anything, just swap the port. Now, for our USB, these really don't matter for like a peripheral, like a mouse, a keyboard, um, anything of that nature. It'll work in a USB port. Ethernet, only one spot that can go. And again, the video, if you have it down here, go for that. It's only up here, plug it in there. Keyboard and mouse. Only thing to remember here is green for mouse, purple for keyboard. And then our power. The power, you'll have two power cords because this same power will fit inside your monitor and also fit inside your computer case. Doesn't matter, same cord will fit both ways, but one difference is you might have a longer length on your monitor than your computer case. So just pay attention to that. Make sure you have your power ready to go and you are ready to turn on your new computer or your old computer, you're ready to turn on your computer in its new location. So there you go, pretty, pretty basic, pretty simple, but follow those simple rules and you'll be able to connect your computer, no problem at all. 